Yo, um, have you watched uh, um, the new Joker 2 with your girl Lady Gaga in it? Yeah. I saw it what were your thoughts? It's getting panned critically. Yeah, I mean, but you got to stand like, she's always been an amazing actress, artist, all that. Star is Born is one of the best movies ever. I promise you, bro. She, it is. She, and she's a 360 everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I mean the way I look at it. Those critics are always critics are always gonna attack you. Yeah. But to me, when they attack you, then that mean that was a that was that was a piece that was well worth doing. Yeah. That's how I see Did it. Did you like the movie? I liked the movie. You liked it. Okay. I liked the movie. Yeah. I just yeah. I think it just wasn't what a lot of people expected. Yeah. It's almost like The Wire season two. I don't know if you've ever watched The Wire. No, I haven't seen that. Okay. The Wire season two was like it just took a crazy left turn and everybody didn't appreciate it until years later. But yeah, but I think with me it was a little different because I kind of already knew what it was gonna be. Mm. And I, I already seen the storyline already to know what that was going to be versus okay anticipating something and then getting something different do you, know you I, mean? I i wonder you know with uh what a lot of artists have been doing with selling their catalog right your catalog's got to be pretty unprecedented in terms of just all the stuff you've been a part of whether it's the t-pain stuff the lady gaga stuff your own solo stuff all of that stuff have you been approached for the catalog thing, and have you sold anything? I think I think everybody's been approached for it because that's the game. You yeah. Know, when you look at the catalog stuff, I think for the most artists out there, if you do have an extensive catalog, hold on to it. Don't sell it. So you haven't sold anything. Hold on to it. Yeah. For you, it's like it's got to be just like a cra- it's residual income well, every month. What people don't also have miscalculated um, is that the the industry is changing, and technology is moving into the future. Mm. So in a minute, there's going to be like. Licensing music is going to be the driver for everything on the internet and everything on the metaverse. Metaverse is going to be the future of entertainment, I mean, well, in the internet, period. I say this too it's like if all of these uh, private equity firms are buying up catalog, there's, they might know something we don't know. Exactly. So it's like you might just want to hold out. Unless you need the money to survive. Hold on to it. Yeah. What, what? Did you get an official offer? I'm just curious. Like, oh no, I got, I got. I don't know how what, many offers. What, I, don't know, what, I don't know how many. Can you, can you share what's like the craziest offer you got? I, no, because then it's gonna, it's gonna convince others to sell. I don't, <laughs> I don't want them to sell. I feel like it'd be close to a billion dollars. I, I, I don't want them to sell. Like, I really <laughs> you're, don't. You're the amount of like, like the amount of records that you probably own cuts of is got to be fucking insane. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, no, it's it's yeah. wild. Um, yo, for you, man. Uh, what what is what is the direction of your new album? That, uh, the direct oh I can't wait for y'all to hear it. I think it's gonna change the game from a perspective of just the the, uh, the energy of what music is now versus where it needs to go. I really do believe that it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna put more smiles on people's faces. It's gonna change the energy of records that make you feel good or music that felt good. Period. In times where you needed to hear something to kind of put you through something. Yeah. Is you know there I mean? any homage to like the sound to your first album? Yeah, I, I think if you like the first album, this second album, the first, this, uh, you know what? If I had to put this album in category of any of my three albums, I would say it was it was a mix of all three albums for this album. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, it would definitely be a, a mix of all three albums because I realized I built three different bases because the first album was more of a hip hop base for sure. audience. Then the second album was more rhythmic. Crossover. The third album was pop. Third album was pop. Yeah. So this this album that I'm putting out, the Not Guilty, gives you a a number of all of that 